just recorded my whole intro to this video and my camera died, which in turn caused the footage to be corrupt and that's just great. I need to figure out how to get it to stop doing that if my camera dies. So, good times. Let's just do it all over again, I guess. I really don't want to do this all over again, but I will. Um, bullet journaling. I've been doing this now for four months. Let me tell you, I did not think it was going to stick with me. I thought it was going to be like every other thing I tried to do and failed at when it came to planning my life. So, basically, I went through my journals a while ago and it was seriously every two to three months there was a page where I planned out my life because I felt like my life was in chaos and every two to three months I swear I counted up like 20 different times where it was like oh here's a page where I tried to plan my life here's a page where I tried to plan my life here's a page where I just tried to plan the next six hours in detail and go hard and try and accomplish something and let me tell you every single time I failed every single time I didn't stick to it I was really motivated when I wrote those things down but I never followed through and it started driving me crazy when it was like, hey, how many times have I tried to plan out my life? What difference is it going to make doing it one more time? So what I did, I think in December, is I planned out four weeks of schedules, each of them a little bit different with emphasis on certain things. And I made it look pretty. I color coded it every week. I was going to hang it up on my wall and literally just be like, hey, I'm going to stick to this. I'm going to get up at 6 o'clock this day, this day I'll sleep in, this day I'm going to get up at 7, 6, 7, 7, eat breakfast, go for a run, stretch, renovate my house, like take my dog for a walk. I was going to do all of these things and I probably didn't even do two days. Like I was like so sure that I was going to stick to this and it was going to help me with my life and I didn't. I spent hours on this. I spent hours on this and I didn't do any of it. So, when we bought our bullet journals in January, I thought this is a really cool idea. It looks really pretty. I'm an artistic person, so I feel like it's really cool, but I don't think it's going to be any different than anything else I've done. So, that was very wrong with me. This thing has helped me so much. I've been doing it for four months now. We're into the fifth month and I've been doing it every single day, just about tracking everything every day and it has saved me when i started it's just like an empty sketchbook when i was in high school or college or whatever you get an empty sketchbook and the emptiness of it stressed me out so i would fill up like the first five pages with sketches or drawings or whatever and then i'd be like okay now this is officially a sketchbook and every time i went to start a new page i would like flip through everything else and be like oh i'm so proud of myself for that or this is really pretty and it felt legit so when this was empty it stressed me out and i just wanted to have all these planned pages that made me feel happy when i looked at them i started just filling out pages that looked really ugly or weren't organized or had thick dark lines and looked horrible or i tried to copy little designs from online and make it all doodly and pretty and every single time i ripped the page out because it looked horrible so january i actually believe it or not went pretty simple because i bought the journal on like january 5th or 6th and i just wanted to start so i have my title page i have my month my habits and goals and then mood i did and then i have finances too so this is pretty simple but basically every single month except February, I have stuck to the simple plan instead of trying, because there's a lot of like YouTube girls out there that will have like a theme for every month and every single page will be like so elaborate and beautiful looking. And I decided because I was getting stressed out about just pages looking like crap, I decided cover page for every month would be a painting or a drawing and then everything else was just going to be a simple grid with colors that kind of matched the painting. So February, this is my painting. 
I'm not going to show you the rest because I absolutely hate it because I bought a printer and went all gung-ho on printing all these different like things and also my colors are just really bad. So February cover page, March cover page, and then I picked colors that went with this. So mood tracker, it looks all oceany. Habit tracker is the same. Budget is the same as January, very similar. April title page, pretty simple. Um, and then for colors, I kind of went with like a mini egg thing because it was Easter. So very like pink, purple, blue, and very mini eggy. Budget looks the exact same as every other month. Um, weekly log for this month. All that being said, this has helped me so much. Just knowing where I'm at versus where I want to be and every single day also, it's very satisfying to color in that box and be like, yes, I did that. Or if I have like an hour window of time where I'm not doing anything, I'll be like, okay, I need to drink a lot of water right now. I can clean the cat litter right now. I can eat an apple right now to get my fruits and vegetables in for the day. Or like making the bed and making sure the kitchen's clean. Like I will just hammer those things out so that I can check them off. And it's very motivating. It's very inspiring and it's helped me a lot. Finances as well, we didn't track our finances at all last year and it is really helpful to know what you're spending your money on, how much money you're making, um, even just like we don't have a very strict budget but like there's a lot of room for wiggle in there but just knowing how much money we spend on certain things and giving ourselves fun money every single month has saved us, like it's all written down in here how much fun money we have, how much we have for our animals, how much we have for groceries, and it's really helped. So with all that being said, if you're still watching, still interested, I am about to show you how I did my May spread. So let's check that out. For the last three months, I've done a watercolor painting as my title page, and that's pretty much all the art that I will do in that month. So here is this month's artwork. Unfortunately, my camera battery died here and I lost the footage of me painting the bird, but as you can see, I drew a bird. I like to use a website called defont.com um, to get my fonts. There's like scripty fonts, there's different themed fonts, there's like serifs and block letters. There's literally every kind of font on there that you could want. You can type in whatever word you want and then whatever font you think looks best with that word, then you just copy it, I don't know. So that's what I do for my fonts until I can kind of write them out on my own. Like this one I've been using for a couple months, so for my weekly spreads, um, I'm able to just do it by hand now and I don't have to look it up. For the first page, I like to do just like a calendar spread so that if I have any important dates coming up or like weddings I'm doing or dates I need to book off work or even just like what I'm scheduled to work for certain weeks, I like to put in there. Um, my font for these pages is just literally the font that the pens I use kind of force me to do. So it's like a thick down stroke and then thin like horizontal stroke and then I I like to use light colors and then I just shadow it with like a fine pen. Next page is habit tracker and mood tracker. It's kind of a pain in the butt to, to count the numbers every single time. Um, so just referencing back on previous months to make it easier to count uh, where I need to start the lines so I don't mess up even though I still mess up just about every time so. I have a lot of habits that I want to implement right now and some stay every month and some have left. Things like waking up at a certain time, eating breakfast, flossing my teeth, brushing my teeth twice a day, um, cleaning the kitchen, doing my laundry. Some people do like one square. Um, or like one color 
yeah, one color per day basically, but I feel like my mood changes so many times in a day that I like to have um, these lines where I can just, you know, if in, the morning, if in the morning I wake up and I'm stressed and then I get more calm during the day and then I get really excited when I get home from work, um, then I can kind of change my mood as you can see on these previous months as I'm flipping through. Um, it also just ends up looking really cool, so. Next page is budget. Oh, gotta love the budget. Two months in a row now that I have messed up the spacing of the goal in the final. I need to make the goal big and the final small, and I messed that up again. Uh, basically, I'm trying to track things like the bills you have to pay, um, necessities, groceries, even inside of groceries, like we've been doing like meat and vegetables, carbs, dairy, stuff like that, just tracking like how much per month we want to spend on those things and then how much we actually spend. Because so I each have our own separate fast food budget, we have our separate tea budgets, we have our separate coffee budgets, and we have our separate fun uh, money. Um, this month I actually did it good because I feel like previously I've been doing a line right down the middle and obviously we spend a lot more time than we make money so having a lot of space and money made was kind of a pain in the butt and then having the same amount of space and money spent where I had to like cram six different things on one line sometimes um, was a really a pain so I tried to make that side a little bigger. And then, yeah, I'll just write the number and then I'll kind of put a color in front of the number so that I know what I spent on that certain thing. And then at the end of the month, I will add up everything from that color and put it in my final uh, budget thing. Mostly during the month, it's just like a weekly log and then sometimes I do a daily log. So this month, I only had four days until the end of the week. So usually I'll do three days on the left side of the page and then four days on the right side of the page but obviously I only had four days so I put it on the right side Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday usually I just track like I'll make a column for how much how many hours I'm sleeping how many hours I work and then I have been writing down like what I eat in a day because I haven't been eating very well so I'm trying to keep track of that The weekly logs are probably one of my favorite pages because they just look really neat when they're filled out. And there you have it. There is my monthly spread.